soup is ready. Hey guys, I feel so prepared. I got my Clorox and my casserole dishes. Today I'm sharing with you super easy crowd pleaser recipes our family loves. I feel like during this time it's fun to see what other people are doing, give you something out of the norm to try. You're gonna love it. Let's jump into it. Today we're gonna chat and bake. You've gotta try oatmeal casserole if you haven't. I'm gonna link this recipe down below. It's from Love of Family and Home and it's perfect for your fruit that's on the fritz or even if you have freezer fruit. First, you're gonna mix up two cups of oats, a half cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of salt. You also wanna add your fruit into this, a couple of cups, and this recipe is so good with yogurt chips or chocolate chips too. Add evenly to a greased baking dish and then add your fruit on top. And don't worry, this blog post will be linked down below. You're then gonna mix up your wet ingredients, two cups milk, a large egg, two tablespoons of butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk it together and pour over top, and then you're gonna bake this at 375 for about 30 minutes. It's also really good if in the last five minutes you add some brown sugar to the top. Pop in your fridge and you've got a week's worth of breakfast ready to go. Next, we're working on lunch. I am so excited about this recipe. It's one of my favorites. They are ham and Swiss sliders. What do you think? Take King's Hawaiian rolls, and yes, it has to be King's Hawaiian. That is what makes this recipe so good. And you don't even have to break them up. Just cut the entire sheet in half, and to that add your Duke's mayonnaise. The King and your Duke's. <laughs> and your chariots too. <laughs> Then add a layer of Swiss cheese and ham. We actually ran out, so I used a little bit of salami. One more layer of cheese, and then top with your rolls. What makes this so amazing is the glaze that you're going to put on top. You need about three tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of poppy seeds, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, Add about a tablespoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of Worcestershire, and paint this on top of your rolls. Bake at 350 for about 10 minutes, and then take off the foil and crisp up for another two minutes. I don't actually know what ended up happening this day, and I forgot to take footage, but I do have this picture. Break off and enjoy. Next, homemade bread with our bread machine. You guys are asking me to bring back Cooking with Carson. He is now six and wants to show you how easy this is. I love the bread. Hi guys, my name is Carson. We're about to make some bread. So you need three cups of flour, two tablespoons of oil, five teaspoons of yeast, and two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. You pour in this cup of water very slowly. Heat up the water for about one minute in your microwave before pouring in. You'll pull this oil in very slowly too. Then you wanna add in your salt and sugar. <laughs> wanna get it all in there. Nice work, buddy. <laughs> so we're gonna make an indent right here, a pretty big one. This is where you add your yeast. So you put it in the indent very carefully so it does not mix with any other ingredients except um, it can touch the flour. We bake this on the express setting. I'll be sure to link our bread maker down below for about 30 to 40 minutes and oh man. There's something so comforting and good about fresh bread. And this has been a really great time for me to be present with my family every time we make it. It's just such a huge hit in our house and a good reminder to enjoy the time that we have to get to slow down together. This is not easy, but I have been working hard to shift my focus to the gift that this quarantine is. And this next recipe is a gift, friends. I know so many people that have some version of this they do with their family. I'm a Midwestern girl, so I gotta love my tater tot casserole. You need your tater tots, you need some type of vegetable, and I always double the recipe. So two pounds of ground beef, and I combine that with onion, and my secret is adding a little Worcestershire, salt, 
and pepper. Put the meat into a casserole dish and then add a can of cream of mushroom soup and top with canned green beans or corn. And we always do a layer of cheese and tater tots. You can use sweet potato tater tots or regular. I have one for my deep freeze, which makes less cooking later, and one we make now. Nobody turns this stuff down. You guys totally have to leave me a comment down below on how you like to make yours. Is it good? Great. Go away. Can I have some? <laughs> Next is lickety split cornbread casserole. Brown up your beef and onion. I always add my Worcestershire and then a drained can of kidney beans. Also add some garlic, tomato sauce. I add a tablespoon of chili powder, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a can of chopped green chilies and mix it all up. I stick that in the fridge and then later, right before I bake it, I put together my Jiffy corn muffin mix. It goes together in a Jiffy. It's so easy, hardly any thinking. I just pour this over top and I bake at 400 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. What's good in your world? You leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna to respond to as many as I can. If you enjoyed this video, you leave it a big thumbs up. Slow down this week, take some time for you. You're doing awesome. It's not the end of the video, don't leave! Don't leave! We got lots more videos for you to watch. Uh, Stick around.